Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade to Lightroom Classic CC from any prior version of Lightroom. Lightroom 6, CC 2015, Lightroom 5, and earlier versions. This video doesn't apply to those of you who are already using Lightroom Classic CC and just need to update, for example, from Classic version 7.5 to 8.0. If that's you, watch instead my video on updating Lightroom Classic CC. Note that in this video, when I refer to Lightroom Classic, I'm referring to Classic CC. There's no non-CC or non-Creative Cloud version of Lightroom Classic, so I've simply shortened the name. Now people often ask me, whether they should clean up their missing files and folders and other organizational issues in their old version of Lightroom before upgrading. It really doesn't matter. You can upgrade and then clean up afterwards. Your disorganization will follow you just fine. The first thing to do is to go into your old version of Lightroom and make sure you understand exactly where your catalog is. Go up to Lightroom on a Mac or edit on a PC and then down to Catalog Settings. Make a note of the location of your catalog and the file name. Hopefully Lightroom Classic will find your old catalog, but if it doesn't, you'll be able to tell Lightroom Classic where it is. Next, close Catalog Settings and then quit Lightroom. The upgrade process will make a copy of your catalog and upgrade that but it's never a bad idea to back up your catalog. I'll skip this time. Now Lightroom Classic is only being offered to Creative Cloud subscribers, so you'll need to have the Creative Cloud application to download it. I'll show you how to find this application in case you don't already have it. First, go to adobe.com and sign into your account. By the way, if you don't have a password manager to manage all of your passwords, I would recommend one. I use Dashlane, but there are lots of good ones out there. In your account, click on Download Desktop Apps. Now, Adobe may change their website between now and the time you watch this video, but you're looking for the Creative Cloud Desktop App. Click on Download, and then once it downloads, double-click on the file and install it. Next, go ahead and open their Creative Cloud application. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to search for it by doing Command Space. But you can go into your applications or into your program files. Here's the application. Click on the Apps tab. Now I probably have a lot more apps than you do since I have the All Apps plan. But look for Lightroom Classic CC. Not Lightroom CC. Not Lightroom CC 2015 but Lightroom Classic CC, and click on the Update button. Now, if you click on Advanced Options, you could check the box to remove the old version as you install the new version, but you can always remove it later. I'll choose not to remove it at this point. I'll just click on Update. Lightroom will install it, and then you'll get a button here to open it. Click on Open. Now, this message is one of a few things that can happen to you. Lightroom couldn't find my catalog. If you get this message, don't choose Use Default Catalog. Click on Choose a Different Catalog. See if the catalog that you wrote down just a minute ago is listed here. If it is, select it and click on Open. If it's not, click on Choose a Different Catalog. Don't choose to create a new catalog or your photos and work will not transfer from your old version of Lightroom. Navigate to where your catalog is. Mine's in my Pictures folder, Lightroom Catalog, and it's called Main Lightroom 6 Catalog, .lrcat. Don't click on the Previews file, it has to be the lrcat file. And you'll click on Choose. And then you'll click on Open. Now, if everything went well from the beginning, you will have gotten the Lightroom Catalog Upgrade dialog right away. Before I cover this upgrade dialog, 
I want to cover one more scenario in terms of what could go wrong, and that would be where Lightroom opens up with an empty catalog. If you're on the Upgrade dialog, you can skip ahead. Now, if when you open Lightroom, it's empty, that means that Lightroom couldn't find your catalog. In that case, go to File, Open Catalog, and navigate to where that old Lightroom catalog is that you wrote down. So mine was in my Lightroom catalog folder, and it was called Main Lightroom 6 Catalog. And then you'll click on Open. Okay, so everybody should be on this Upgrade dialog now. Notice that your Lightroom Classic catalog will go into this same folder as your old catalog, and it will most likely be named your old catalog name Dash 2. I'll show you later how to rename this. I'll click on Upgrade. Now my catalog is fairly small, so this process is going to go fast, but yours may go very slow. Lightroom is compressing a lot of information in the catalog so that Lightroom will launch faster going forward, and that process can take quite a while. You can read through this message on what's new and then click on Got It. Then you may get a guided tour. If so, you can read through that or you can close it. Then you should see all of the photos and all of the work that you had done in your previous version of Lightroom. You should see any develop presets that you've created, any metadata presets in the import dialog, collections, templates, etc. The process really should be a smooth one. Let me mention process version quickly. I'm going to take this photo into the develop module. If you're coming from Lightroom 3 or earlier, you're going to see that you still have the old sliders, recovery and fill light. Starting in Lightroom 4, we got shadows and highlights. You'll also see a lightning bolt. So that indicates that you're using the old developed technology. Only click on the lightning bolt and update to the new process version and the new sliders if you want to continue editing your photo, since the translation from old to new sliders can change the appearance of your prior editing substantially. You'll essentially have to re-edit your photo, though improvements can make re-editing worthwhile. If you're coming from Lightroom 4 or later, there are no new sliders, but you'll still see a lightning bolt on your photos because there were new process versions due to minor improvements in Classic version 7 and version 8 in Auto Mask in the Adjustment Brush, reduced purple or magenta color casts in shadows, and improved negative dehaze. The same thing I said a moment ago still holds in that there's no need to update unless you want to edit your photo further. But updating might only change the appearance of your edited photos very subtly unless you used negative dehaze prior to updating. Watch my video on process version in my Lightroom Fundamentals and Beyond series for all the details on this topic. All right, last thing we need to do is rename the catalog. We're going to go out to the folder where the catalog is located. I like to get there again by going into Catalog Settings. So Lightroom Catalog Settings on a Mac, Edit Catalog Settings on a PC. And on the General tab, I'll click on the Show button. It opens up a Finder or Windows Explorer window with my Catalog folder selected. Open that up. Now don't touch anything now <laughs> until you go back to Lightroom and quit. You don't want to rename the catalog while Lightroom is open. Here's my catalog with the dash 2, so I'll do a single click to get into the file name and delete the dash 2, but you could also right click on the file and choose rename. And then I'll change this from 6 to classic, and I'll hit enter. Next, I need to rename the previews file to be exactly the same with space previews after it. So I'll carefully come in here, delete the dash 2, change the 6 to classic. Again, make sure it's exactly the same, and then with space previews afterwards. I'll hit enter, and do the same with a smart previews file if you have one of those. You can also rename the folder that the catalog is in if you wish to, or you can move the catalog file into a new folder. If you do that, 
Be sure to also move the previews file and, if you have them, the Smart Previews file and the Lightroom Settings folder. Now, if everything looked good in the new version of Lightroom, you can delete your old Lightroom catalogs. So you can delete any old Previews files and the LR Cat files. I'll keep mine around for demos. Next, we need to tell Lightroom that we've renamed the catalog. So double-click on the LR Cat file to launch Lightroom with that renamed catalog. And then let's go into Preferences and tell Lightroom to always open with that catalog. Go to Lightroom on a Mac, edit on a PC, and then into Preferences this time. And on the General tab, under Default Catalog, click on the drop-down and choose the catalog that you just renamed. And then close Preferences. So that's it for renaming your catalog. The final step would be to go out and uninstall your old version of Lightroom. On a PC, you'd go into Add or Remove Programs. On a Mac, you would go into your Applications folder. Now, on a Mac, I want to show you that you have to be careful about how you uninstall it. If I'm uninstalling Lightroom 5, I just have a file. It's not a folder. There's a slight difference in the icons here. If you just have a file, you can move it to the trash. However, if you have a folder, you need to open it and double-click on the Uninstall program and run the Uninstall program. Note that Adobe Lightroom is Lightroom 6 and Lightroom CC 2015. So that's the one you want to uninstall. You may or may not have Adobe Lightroom CC on your computer. That's the new cloud-based program. Now, PC users, when you installed Lightroom Classic, a shortcut to it was put on your desktop. That's not the case on Macs. Mac users, you might want to put Lightroom Classic in your dock. If so, open the Lightroom Classic folder and drag the program file to your dock. Be sure to remove the old program from your dock, though, because they have the same icon, so it will be confusing. Of course, this is true for PC users as well, in terms of icons on your desktop. Remove the old one. Now, let's talk about how to get support if you have installation issues. Since you have a Creative Cloud subscription, you qualify for phone and chat support from Adobe. So, I would suggest starting there. Go to adobe.com and sign in to your account. Then click on Support and contact Adobe. Now, the design of this website process may change, but I'll show you the general process of getting to that phone and chat support. Now, don't select Lightroom here, even though it has the proper icon. Instead, go down to Creative Cloud All Apps, or whatever Creative Cloud selection you have. We're on the Popular tab here, and it has the cloud-based Lightroom CC. That's not the correct one. You may have to go to the Additional tab to find the Lightroom choice with the proper icon. It's too bad that it doesn't say Lightroom Classic here, but click on this one. And then download and install. And then scroll down to show me my contact options. And then you'll have access to the chat and phone support. If Adobe's not able to help you, then I would suggest turning to the forums. My favorite forums are out on lightroomqueen.com. This is Victoria Bampton's site, and she has some great forums here. You'll need to create an account and sign in before you can post, but it's worth it. Alternatively, you could go to the Adobe Lightroom Classic forum. You'll also need to log in to be able to post here. Be sure to provide as much detail as you can what operating system you're using, and exactly what issues you're experiencing. So that's it for installing Lightroom Classic. I hope you enjoy it.